This video is for setting up the hardware for the player tracking system in the Hydra. There are two parts to the hardware system. The customer service station and the public kiosk. The first part is the customer service station. The second part is the public kiosk. In the customer service station there are various components as we can see here. We have the CPU, we have the card printer, we have the receipt printer, we have the card swipe reader, monitor, keyboard and mouse. Okay. So those are the those are the components needed to set up the hardware for the customer service station. Again, let's go over the components. Number 1, CPU. Number 2, card reader. Number 3, receipt printer. Number 4, card swipe reader. Number 5, monitor and number six and seven keyboard and mouse the first thing we need to do is we need to set up the printers on the customer service computer you have two printers you have the card printer and you have the receipt printer the card printer is a Fargo DTC-1250. The receipt printer is a Bixelon 350. Now, you may have disks with the drivers that come with these printers, but it's always best to go to the website of the manufacturer and get the latest drivers for these printers. They're both USB devices. First of all, you have to install the the printer cartridge, uh, printer ribbon. Power the unit up, hook up the USB cable, and then it will ask you for the USB printer driver. With the Bixelon 350 receipt printer, we simply install the driver, the, um, the paper, and it should be ready to go as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen. We go to devices and printers and we see here several printers. One thing that you have to understand about USB printers, every time you unplug a USB port and plug it back in, whether it be because you're moving the printer or you're moving the computer or whatever, it always assigns a new name to that printer. So you might have several instances of the same printer. Example here, I have Bixelon 350 uh, here, SRP 350 here. I have a Bixelon SRP 350 here because I moved the printer. I powered the system down, I moved the USB port. So it's always important to know that when you have more than one copy of the same printer, that you make that printer active. Right here, I have the DTC 1250 printer which is the card printer so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the drivers and the printers are working so if we go to let's start with the card printer if we go to uh, printer properties the card that we want is 
CR80, and that determines the size of the card. So, let's go to Printer Preferences. We see here that the card size is CR80. The thickness with our particular card is 30 mil. We want Portrait. And those are the main options that we want to make sure are correct. Okay. So let's go back to Printer Properties. Okay, so when you load a card into this printer, you have a mag stripe on one side, and for this demo, it's blank on the other side. So the way you load a card into this printer is the mag stripe is up, and it's towards the front. That's a single load card. So let's print that. Okay, so Windows has printed a test page on this and everything looks correct. Now let's go to the Bixelon printer, make sure it's working. Properties. Print test page. Again, Windows has printed its test page. Everything seems to be good with the printers. We can also print a sample, uh, let's call it an ID card, from the card printer by selecting Printer Preferences and selecting the test print. Let me load up a card. Mag stripe up and toward the front. This will test the, uh, the graphics capability of the printer. And as you see, it printed a, an ID card for an employee or whatever. Okay, now I'm going to give you an actual demonstration of the way this works. Um, there's a lot of software that has to be installed in the server before this can happen. But basically, what happens is... We start the app, which is called Player Panel Kiosk. We log in. Log in as admin. Password is 1234 for our purposes. Uh, for example, again, you don't have, we don't have yet the software installed but when the software is installed, uh, we're going to do a um, replace card, put my name in, select a card. So I'm going to use an actual customer's card, a customer's blank card, which is blank on the bottom, insert it into the printer. I'm going to select that I only want my name and number, and I'm going to print the card. You 
can see now that the card is now printed with my name and number. Also, the mag stripe has been uh, printed. I'm going to view my account. Let's see if the card works. You can see now that it brings up my account. So, not only does the printer print the, the name and number on the card, but it also makes the mag stripe data. The operation of the actual app will be in, in videos following the installation of all the software. The other part of the hardware for the player tracking system is the kiosk, standalone kiosk, and it has a built-in touchscreen monitor. It has a built-in card swipe reader. It has a built-in printer, and it has the built-in computer uh, inside the, the bottom of the cabinet. Really the only thing it needs is a network connection to the same network that the server resides on. And the customer service station also needs a network connection to the server that it resides on, network that the server resides on. And with the applicable software installed, um, here's how it works. The the app is called Public Kiosk. So a player would swipe their card, uh, insert their pin. They can do various things. They can redeem points for prizes. They can look at their account. Um, in this particular instance, I am going to redeem a prize of a uh, Coca-Cola. I'm going to redeem a prize of a Coca-Cola it's 100 points. I'm going to confirm that. And basically you get a receipt that says that you can now take this to the bar and exchange this receipt for a Coca-Cola. Uh, 